Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic are freaking machine could kill everyone in the room. A Russian carrier and an American patrol. Reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been I'm no looking for Lieutenant Anderson's Moscow desk. Or Washington. It's that we'll desk right there. Minute by minute as the situation develops. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Jack shit. Get about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Ongoing firefighting. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. 
Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? Take a look. No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Be silly. Of course I want to see you. Baby, listen, I can't... Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. We could follow up on one of these cases, see if we could figure out what happened. That might be a good way to start the investigation. What do you think? If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, you should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. Fuck. Hey. You take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Where are you going? Lunch. Bullshit makes me hungry. 